Okay. Well, the Formula One season for 2023 is over. And it's been a it's been a bit of a dead season to be honest with you. There has been no like nothing. Really. If you think about it, it's all been fake hype. And I've just watched a fix video where the BBC have posted zero wins for Lewis Hamilton. 2022 zero wins. 2023 zero wins. And a picture of Lewis Hamilton looking all sad with a dark background, all gloomy, trolling Lewis Hamilton. Shocking, man. How bad is that, man? That is so bad. And I was watching the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and at the end of the race, the chatting to Max Verstappen and while he's talking, got this graphic on the screen. Um, records that Max Verstappen has broken this season. Like, the most laps led. The most, like a thousand laps led are the most laps in a season. Like the most points scored in a season. The biggest gap between first and second in a season. Like, these this pointless, and they really are. Most of them are pointless. Like, just, just made up facts. They are facts, so that's a weird thing to say. Made up facts, but like made up records. Yes, he's made the, broken these records, but they're like nothing records. Nobody cares about that. Do you know what I mean? The most laps led in a season. Like, all, all of these records were just showing that there's no competition. If you're going to lead a thousand laps and nobody else has done it or come close, then that shows that there was no competition. If you've won the most races in a season, like one of the, one of the um, records was the most races won from pole position. That's a, that's a rubbish record. You want the most races won from not pole position. That's a better record. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So come on, man. All these records that were coming up, there must have about 20 of them. In fact, I might have counted them. 15 or something like that. 15 um, records that Max Verstappen's won, broken this season. And they were terrible records, man. But they just want to put it out there. It's so, it's ridiculous, man. It is so bad what's going on. Like, it's nearly getting me angry. This is like when I first found out about the Illuminati. And I first found out that, hold on a minute, I've been lied to on a grand scale. These people do not have my best interests at hand. They're actually against me they're using money to control everything that i do and everything that i'm when i'm sat down not spending money they're feeding information through my eyes from my tv through my radio through the music like everything that they're doing is to suppress me they don't want my body to be at its full function they don't want my mind to be at its full function everything that they're doing to me is against me and I thought that they were looking after us. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then I realized that I can't believe this. And I got angry and I got scared the more I looked into it. And then I, you know what? I just thought, you know what, man? I've, I've, I've looked into this enough. I know exactly what they're doing. I'm not sure exactly why they're doing it because there's so many answers, but they're definitely doing something and it's time for me to step away from it. And I stepped away from everything, man. No bank account. I didn't even want to go to full supermarkets. When Tesco got caught selling horse meat, I did not go to Tesco for, for time. For ages, I didn't go to Tesco. I stopped using the banks. I don't live in a normal house. I ain't paying my council tax. I ain't paying a TV license. You're, you're having a laugh. You're, getting, you're only getting money from me that I can't not pay you. Like if I go and buy my shopping, I have to pay tax. They add it on. Everything that's extra, you ain't getting a penny from me. 
I am not feeding the system. The only time, only time I put my telly on was to watch Formula One. And we're seeing Lewis Hamilton doing what Lewis Hamilton was doing from the, from the get-go, as soon as he stepped into Formula One. But then he became a superstar. And then the race stuff started happening. He started like fighting back. Maybe he thought, I'm in this position now. I am firmly set in this sport. I can use my platform to do certain things. Or he's just part of the flipping whole system because he had all of that symbolism surrounding him. He miraculously went to Mercedes, a terrible company, if you think about it. Monster, sponsored by them. Hugo Boss, it, they're not the best either. Everything surrounding Lewis Hamilton was terrible. All his tattoos, they're not looking good. It wasn't looking like Lewis Hamilton was on our side, really. Really. He was playing the victim, which is what the black guy always has to do. Play the victim under the white man. And that's what they put out there. And Lewis Hamilton was doing all of this black stuff. Black Lives Matter. Winning races in his black car, in his black race suit, having them t-shirts on, talking about all these things that happen to black people. Mission 44. All the stuff that he was doing was to, to, to raise the spirits of black people. And then what happens to him? He gets shot down. And then he cows down to the white man again, which is a display. That's a display of if you try and get too big for your boots, we are going to shoot you down because you can never rise above the white man. That's what we was, that's what we was shown with what happened to Lewis Hamilton. If, we, if Lewis Hamilton was the real deal, he would have came back out still fighting strong. But he didn't. He's been, a, he's been a weak guy. Where's all the stuff he was doing before? Don't exist anymore. Right? But still, we need to look beyond Lewis Hamilton and look at what they're doing to the mentality of the people. They're hate creating. And they are suppressing a certain type of person. A black person. That's what they're doing. And Lewis Hamilton is playing the role that he's supposed to play that helps them suppress black people. Why is he not saying anything? Why? Because he needs to be the soft guy now. He needs to be the one that's looking up to the master. He needs to be the one that's playing his role and shutting his mouth and doing as he's told. That's, what he's, that's the role he's playing now. But as fans, as people, as the general public, as men, right? We are supposed to fight back against this stuff. We're not supposed to just let it happen. We're not supposed to let the BBC troll sports stars. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? As well as the rest of the whole sport. We're not supposed to let the whole sport do it. But definitely not the BBC. Like Fix says, man, that is shocking that they've posted that. That is shocking. That is hate creating. That is laughing at Lewis Hamilton, another British guy. Why would you do that to your own? Because they don't see him as their own. Because he's black. He's knighted. But the BB still is still going to troll. Why? Because they're part of the system that's trying to bring down Lewis Hamilton. That has brought down Lewis Hamilton. They have done it now. Haven't they? At the end of the race, Abu Dhabi, end of the season, 2023, Lewis Hamilton is being interviewed. And he, asked, and he says something about, there's nothing I can really take positive from this season except for the fact that I survived it. He literally said that. There's no positive to take from this season except for the fact that I survived it. Now, what is that saying? What's that saying? That is, that is feeding into our minds that it might not survive next season or the season after or the season after that, or whatever it may be. But that's, that's planting a seed into our minds. I do not trust Lewis Hamilton, you know, I don't. But it's not about him no more. Forget Lewis Hamilton. It's about what these people are actually doing. These corporations, it's about what they're doing. These governments, it's about what they're doing. The legal system, it's about what that's doing. That's what it's about. 
forget Lewis Hamilton, forget Formula One. It's about bringing down any, anybody that does something they shouldn't do needs to be held accountable. And we're the ones that are supposed to do it. We're the ones supposed to do it. How do we do it? How? Hit them where it hurts, which means stopping money. People won't do that. Even some of you lot out there, I know you're still paying. You're still paying for your Sky Sports F1 subscription. Whilst hating on Formula One, whilst pressing likes on all these videos, whilst egging us on, yeah guys, we need to keep fighting the fight. You're still paying for your Sky, you're still funding them, aren't you? Because you don't want to find some other stream that might cut off and you have to put it back on again. Or you want to you wanna watch the, um, the driver cam. You want to hear the team radio. Whatever, whatever you're using to justify it, you are fit. You are, you are lining these people's pockets. You are, you are aiding them in everything they're doing. Why are you paying a TV license if you're paying one in the UK? Everybody knows you don't have to pay that. I have never in my life paid a TV license. Never, never, ever, ever. Before it was popular, I didn't care, man. Like I am not paying you to watch your channels. Don't broadcast it to my house then. I'm not asking you for this. Do you know what I mean? I am not paying you 10, 12, 15 pound a month for something I don't want from you. But you have a TV, it's law, it ain't my law. I'm, like, I'm in no contract with you. I have no contract with the BBC. So there's no way that I need to pay them a monthly subscription. So I'm not paying them and I never have. And you shouldn't either. There's nothing they can do about it. All you gotta do is wise yourself up, learn the law of the land, and then live by the law. Some people are out there trying to play Monopoly and they don't know the rules. That's what it's like if you don't know the sim if you don't learn the simple law of your land, right? Then you're trying to play a game of Monopoly and you don't know the rules. How are you going to win? You can't. So get your brain in gear, right? Look up some things and realize what you actually are on this earth. Learn about your straw man. Realize that your name is not you. That's a legal fiction that was created when you was born. So then you can enter into commerce. That's a contract. That's so they can have law over you as a person. Because your person is your persona. A persona is an act. Isn't it? That's why you have to learn. I mean, that's why they can use acts and legislation against you because you're playing, you're acting your persona, your name. You're a human being, not a person. Do you know what I'm saying? There is a difference. But let's not get too far into that. You have to go and do your own research for that. What I'm talking about right now is what, what the BBC have put out there and what Channel 4 are putting out there and what Sky Sports are putting out there. Any, all, anyone out there can make excuses. Like the last race in, um, in Vegas, people were saying that Martin Bundle actually uh, pulled Max up on his, his bad driving on Charles Leclerc. But I never heard that. I've gone and I've listened and he was, he was on the fence too. So maybe he said something after Max made his remark like, oh yes, send him my regards. Maybe he said something then, but he should have said something immediately. As soon as he made that move, Martin Bundle knows his stuff. He shouldn't have been waiting. He should have instantly said, that move should not be allowed. Instantly. But I didn't hear that. So I can't definitely say he didn't say it. But when I watched the highlights, I'm not hearing him say it. I'm not hearing him say it. But he should have done. So I'm not convinced that he did. So we've got Sky Sports doing it. Sky Sports F1 doing it. BBC doing it. Who else? Channel 4 doing it. Do you know what I mean? It's shocking behavior, man. And what, what are we supposed to do? Especially when some people out there are still funding these companies, still paying the TV license, still paying the Sky Sports subscription. Do you know what I mean? What's the point? Seriously, what do you expect people to do when even the people that are against somebody are still funding the enemy? You're funding the enemy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. And what do I get from this? Jack diddly squat while people are paying 30, 40, 50 pound a month.
to fund the enemy. It's ridiculous, man. Jeez, I'm out of here.